Welcome to Startup TV Boston. I'm Michael McCarthy, and I'd like to welcome my guest today, Will Fussier. Welcome, Will. Thank you for having me. Startup TV Boston was made about three years ago for some of my Harvard Extension students who took the Entrepreneurship and Innovation class. When the semester ended, they ended up not knowing, what do we do now? Everything's over. And I wanted to give them an ability to continue their startups by basically bringing them on TV so they could get exposure to raise money and awareness for what they're doing. And I met Will at the Harvard Innovation Lab. And from that experience, I feel that a lot of what Will is doing is something that more people, such as yourself, should know about. So Will, can you share with us, what is your startup? Sure, absolutely. First of all, uh, I'm very happy to, to be here and to have the opportunity to tell you more about what I do. Um, ASAP is the go-to marketplace to invest in yourself, develop your skills. We have the largest network of uh, professional coaches in New England as of today. Um, we have coaches in career, uh, if you're looking for career advancement opportunities, uh, find a better job, more fulfilling career. We have communication coaching, leadership coaching, executive coaching, and we want to help uh, go-getters as well as people uh, uh, who might find challenges uh, uh, in, their, in their professional and personal journey uh, to develop the skills they need to reach their goals. Excellent. So how, when did you start your company? When did it begin? I started my company. I had the idea uh, in the summer 2015. Then I uh, tried to build a team, uh, uh, connect with professional, and I incorporated the company in November 2015, so uh, almost two years ago now. And what is the relationship with ASAP and the Harvard Innovation Lab where we met? Where does Harvard Innovation Lab come into the picture? Sure, absolutely. We applied to the Venture Incubation Program of uh, the Harvard iLab uh, in January 2016 to be able to uh, um, access not only a, a set of resources, but also be able to make necessary uh, uh, connections, uh, uh, find talents to help us develop the project. And uh, through uh, the application process, we got accepted in February 20, uh, 2016. Um, and we have been able to uh, connect with mentors, advisors, former entrepreneurs, potential investors, who substantially accelerated the development of the company. Excellent. And do you also get office space? Absolutely. We, uh, 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 we are now uh, not only part of the Harvard Innovation Lab, uh, um, where mostly young entrepreneurs uh, uh, come to at a stage of ideation to, uh, to, to uh, be able to give life to their, to their idea. Uh, but we're now part of the Harvard Launch Lab, where we have office space uh, for more established companies who have been able to launch a product uh, uh, and who are moving from initial traction to, to growth. So we, we, are, we have now uh, uh, our office spaces, and we're seven uh, uh, in uh, this uh, uh, office space that is uh, the Harvard Launch Lab. And is it free? So the Harvard Innovation Lab is free. However, you can uh, uh, only stay there for one semester and you have to fill in an application every semester to be able to stay within the program. Uh, at ASUP, when we were at the uh, Innovation Lab, we have been able to renew our application four times. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a good thing and it's entirely free, but at the same time, uh, uh, you always have the pressure to constantly uh, being judged and potentially not, not staying in this uh, incubation program. So this is why uh, uh, after a year we apply to the launch lab mm -hmm. where uh, uh, we now pay uh, um, a, a fee per person, mm -hmm. but it is very competitive um, and, and at least now we can stay pretty much as long as we want. Oh, excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. And what sort of benefits have you gotten out of the Harvard Innovation Lab and the Launch Lab? I would say that the first benefit I got 
which for me was huge, uh, was the capacity to uh, connect with talents and, and, and hire talents. Uh, there is a huge talent pool uh, around the, uh, I would say, Harvard entrepreneurship ecosystem. And for me, who had uh, an idea, but not necessarily a very good understanding of the digital economy, uh, um, of um, how to build a website, uh, mm -hmm. uh, etc. I was able to find uh, exactly the type of uh, uh, persons who helped me made, make my vision a reality. So uh, uh, access to the talent pool is definitely the first uh, uh, benefit. The so second one is, of course, the fact that you're surrounded by uh, hundreds of startups actually now uh, that face similar challenges mm -hmm. uh, uh, than yours, even if they are at different stages of development, uh, it substantially cut the learning curve and it helps you uh, move forward uh, uh, fa further and faster. Uh, and it's actually the, 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 the mantra of uh, uh, the Harvard Innovation Lab, which is uh, we help you go further and faster and it is exactly what it does when you're uh, uh, basically in this uh, um, very effective environment and each time you have questions you can find uh, um, many people who have had similar challenges and show you uh, uh, the way. Um, so this was definitely the second benefit and thirdly uh, the ability to connect with former entrepreneurs, advisors, potential investors uh, definitely helped us uh, um, be uh, more ready to, uh, 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 to raise funds uh, um, and uh, be able to uh, 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 secure our business model. Excellent. So on to the business model, I see you have a PowerPoint. Could you share with us some information about how your company is operating and, and exactly how it's working? Yes, absolutely. My, uh, my pleasure to do so. Um, so as you can see, um, at ASAP, our first competitive advantage is the fact that we give our clients an access to the largest vetted network of professional coaches. Um, these coaches are uh, highly experienced, uh, certified, have worked for uh, large corporations and uh, organizations, Harvard Business School, MIT. Um, and on ASAP.com, you can connect with them seamlessly and it absolute transparency. You can see the price points of their program, you can see the content of their pro program, but also uh, uh, we guarantee the quality of our network in the sense that if you're not satisfied of your coaching program, we pay you back. And it might seem like a detail, but uh, when we decided to build the largest vetted network of professional coaches, it was essential for us to guarantee the quality of, of this network to our clients. Secondly, um, on ASUP.com, you can access instantly uh, uh, professional development solutions uh, adapted to your needs and your goals. Um, and you can also connect with the coaches to design customized uh, uh, training programs uh, uh, if you have specific uh, attempts. Uh, and finally, um, where we really provided for uh, uh, HR professionals uh, a, a very strong value proposition uh, was in our ability to help them through the platform track and measure the impact of our coaching program uh, with data so that when they engage with ASAP, they will clearly know uh, um, the type of um, uh, impacts we had on their workforce, on their employees, and, and indeed the type of return on investment they have when investing in learning and development solution. Then before introducing you to uh, uh, the value of our platform, I would like to briefly tell you about coaching and about the coaching experience and why it leads to uh, uh, highly effective results. Um, if I had to sum up the philosophy of coaching, I would say that it's about teaching someone how to fish. And 
it is exactly what we do. We teach people um, how they can develop the skills they need to have a stronger presence, be able to receive but also give feedback, be able to be resilient and how they can uh, uh, bounce back from uh, uh, challenges in their personal and professional life, how to be self-aware of their own strengths and weaknesses uh, uh, and how to uh, uh, work on themselves continuously. And this idea behind empowering people uh, has obviously a direct consequence on their ability to perform and to evolve in their professional environments. Because um, indeed, when you grow as a person, you can better thrive as a leader. And we constantly connect the ability of people uh, uh, to empower themselves with their ability to empower others. And this is why coaching uh, has such a strong impact in uh, management and corporate America today. Finally, what is very important to uh, uh, the coaching uh, uh, relationship is of course the fact that the employee can uh, connect with a coach in a very supportive, uh, uh, positive environment in absolute confidentiality, which uh, uh, will give the opportunity to the employee to explore um, additional uh, way of expressing uh, uh, themselves, uh, additional way to uh, um, approach adversity, etc. And then with this coach, they will work continuously. It's what we call ongoing learning during the time of the coaching program, that is in average about uh, uh, three months, um, to not only um, work on specific exercises, but also constantly reflect and refine, give uh, uh, feedback, uh, deepen the learning experience. And thanks to the work with a coach, we have the opportunity to uh, uh, make, keep the, the employee accountable for his results. And this is why we have a lasting impact with coaches that we don't have yet on learning management system, for instance. Finally, to introduce why the platform is here essential, it's because uh, in the coaching industry for a long time, it was difficult to have a specific framework uh, um, to be able to uh, give a structured and effective learning experience to the clients. And now, thanks to the platform, uh, clients can access to past session notes, uh, key takeaways, additional resources, and they can track at every step the progress they are making, um, the number of time that has been pond, spent on a specific um, exercise, and at the end of the day, they have a much better understanding of what they have been learning during, uh, during the program. So this was a brief introduction about, uh, indeed, uh, the impact of coaching and how we can enhance the learning experience through the ASA platform. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. So how's business? Business is fine. It's true that um, uh, when we started um, ASAP, um, the first thing we tried to understand was uh, why coaches need us. And we realized that these professionals uh, had many difficulties to market themselves effectively because they are professional coaches, extremely talented in what they do, uh, but they are not tech developer or digital marketers. So the concept of online visibility, uh, uh, search engine optimizations, uh, uh, were for, for most independent professionals uh, uh, very complicated. And through ASAP, we could we can simplify this process for them. So uh, we first connected with coaches and were able to bring many talented coaches to our network because we helped them uh, uh, effectively promote their business, uh, businesses a and they were deeply strugg struggling with this uh, at first. And then once we had a strong network of professional coaches, 
uh, we were able to uh, uh, start reaching out actively to customers. And uh, we started to um, uh, uh, get more and more traction uh, 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 this past spring, 2017. And we got to a point where we were able to generate more than $25,000 in monthly recurring revenue. But at the same time, we realized that most of our customers were actually uh, uh, corporate customers. And um, uh, uh, we uh, clearly saw the opportunity of developing um, a more specific value proposition for companies. And this is why we have, de we have developed uh, what we call the Acer Business Extension, uh, within which we can uh, scale customized coaching for an entire corporation. We can very easily, with our Acer Business Extension, uh, connect uh, um, the employees of a company to our software and match them with coaches, um, of course, coaches uh, um, that have been approved by the company and programs that have been approved by the company. Uh, but it was definitely for us the realization of a huge opportunity of growth. And so now uh, uh, we continue to do business with coaches to help them with their digital visibility, to help them uh, uh, build their offer, define their positioning, and, and, and find the business model that is going to help them grow their business. Uh, this business with coaches is working better and better. At the same time, we have more and more indivi individuals reaching out to us every day. And now uh, uh, we, we really uh, start actively connecting with companies, especially with talent management specialists, chief people officer. Um, and they are highly interested in our, in our, in our value proposition. Um, so I would say that business is doing better and better. So how do you, I like the idea, how do you find the corporations and tell them about what you're doing? How do you find them? Sure, sure. Um, well, there's three ways we can, uh, we can connect with, uh, with uh, companies. Uh, the first way I is simply what we call uh, uh, direct sales. Uh, uh, it's not very glamorous, but it's definitely the best way for companies to grow. Uh, uh, still and for today, for our audience, what is direct sales? Absolutely. So uh, uh, we 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 have sales manager uh, who simply uh, uh, identify uh, prospects. Uh, you have very effective tools to do that. Uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is yeah. one tool to do that. And thanks to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, we can uh, uh, target. Uh, um, talent management specialists, training and development managers, uh, uh, chief people officers uh, uh, within uh, uh, corporations in the greater Boston area and directly reach out to them, direct sales, to uh, uh, pitch our solutions and propose them coaching programs adapted to their business objectives. And what are these corporations looking for? Is there, are there themes? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I would say two things. Uh, uh, the first thing is that uh, what you have a lot in the greater Boston area is mid-sized businesses with between 50 to 200 employees uh, and who have experienced uh, fast growth in the past 12 to 18 months. And these companies, they face two major challenges. The first one is the fact that uh, the senior management of the company had to deal with uh, an increasing scope of their responsibilities without always being prepared for this. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so our executive coaches actively help them uh, develop the skills that make better leaders. So when it is about uh, uh, delegation, uh, when it is about uh, um, executive presence, when it is about uh, organizational behavior, etc. Any skill that can help them, uh, um, I would say, best, better assume their responsibilities, we can help them uh, uh, learn these skills. The second major pain point of this company is the fact that they, they have had to hire uh, a lot of employees where they don't necessarily have um, the HR structure to accompany the onboarding of the employee. Mm 
mm. and sometimes it can create a, a, a major uh, um, communication issues and, and, and simply uh, a, a part of the human capital of the company that is uh, not uh, um, uh, um, used optimally. And so what we do is we have new managers onboarding program delivered by highly experienced uh, uh, executive coaches and, and they definitely help new managers uh, develop their managerial skills, um, learn how to, uh, for instance, uh, uh, make an effective presentations, uh, learn how to manage themselves and others, uh, uh, learn how to respect deadlines, learn how to uh, uh, express themselves confidently, learn how to network effectively to meet clients, any type of skills that they need to reach the business objectives of the company, we can provide customized training for, for the new managers. So it sounds like the new managers are getting a lot of specialized information and coaching. Do they have one coach or do they have multiple coaches? teaching them this entire suite of new, new talents that they're trying to acquire. Sure, sure. The, the, the whole idea of, of the ASAP platform is the fact that they can indeed access to a pool of coaches. Um, of course, they will follow one training program after the others, uh, but, but what matters is that they can have all the resources they need in one place. What does it mean? It means that tomorrow, uh, if an employee wants to work on his public speaking skills, he will be able to connect with one of the coach uh, uh, selected uh, uh, and, and present in the network of the company. Uh, if tomorrow uh, uh, he or she wants to work on his uh, 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 leadership skills or on his uh, uh, business skills, he will be able also to connect with uh, the, 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 the right experts uh, in the in the network provided by the company. So what we see is that definitely employees work with one coach at a time. However, they can meet within a year with multiple coaches. And is this a one-on-one a -on -one meeting online or is it at their office or somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Is it in person or online? Now it's, it's an excellent question and um, we definitely offer both in-person and remote coaching. The platform enable us to make the remote coaching uh, uh, very effective and simple. Mm -hmm. But in-person coaching is still uh, um, very important, often demanded by uh, uh, our clients, but I would say still necessary uh, to the learning experience, uh, especially in, in some uh, 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 category of coaching, such as publi public speaking, or a, a to do it remotely. <laughs> effective way to do it is to practice uh, uh, with an expert and uh, sometime in front of an audience. Um, and I would say that um, the coaching industry remains a, a, a local market in the sense that we see that people will always prefer a coach near them than a coach uh, uh, remotely, even with uh, higher qualifications. Uh, because at some point during the coaching program, uh, the in-person interaction uh, will have a lot of impact on the overall learning experience. And this is why what we see uh, uh, often is on a three months coaching program, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, um, the clients will often meet the coach at the beginning of the program and at the middle and at the end and in between uh, do many sessions remotely. Um, but indeed, we, we definitely wanted to create a local directory um, because we see that many of our competitors have tried to uh, promote only remote coaching and we see that there is a real lack of uh, commitments uh, uh, from the employees within the program. The personal connections mm -hmm. actually increase the commitments, the accountability, and, and the capacity uh, um, of the clients, of the employee, the individual, um, to um, be in fully involved in, in the coaching experience.
So when the when you're engaged by the corporation who says perhaps we've we've just doubled the number of middle managers that we have, do you create a, a program and a proposal and say we think you need these these five talents to acquire and we think it's going to take three months, you're going to need this pool of 10 coaches. Does it work that way or does it work a different way? Can you explain me if, if a corporation wanted to do this, how do they actually, what's their experience going to be like when they walk through it? Sure, absolutely. So first of all, um, I would say that um, uh, we are a talent management company. Um, we, we don't work on talent acquisition per se. Uh, however, uh, providing uh, personal, high quality personal and professional uh, uh, development solutions to your employees as a benefit uh, uh, is definitely uh, very important uh, for uh, uh, many employees, especially millennials. Uh, so in this sense, we can help with talent acquisitions, but we don't directly work on sourcing and hiring. Uh, even if we have professionals in our network who can uh, uh, help uh, our clients on these questions. Um, regarding how the selling process occurs exactly, mm -hmm. um, it can happen two ways. Either um, a companies uh, reach out to us because um, they face an important human capital challenge. Uh, something that is very concerning for uh, companies today is, is uh, the high turnover they have uh, uh, among uh, millennials, uh, which includes their junior and middle managers. And because they cannot indeed design solutions or, or provide conditions that can uh, uh, help them retain their workforce, uh, uh, they see coaching as a solution so that indeed we can give uh, to these employees uh, an ability to grow personally and professionally um, and because they deeply value this this type of uh, service uh, benefits uh, we see that drastically uh, they tend to uh, uh, more easily adopt the company's culture uh, mm -hmm. collaborate uh, uh, more effectively with their co-workers. Uh, they also tend to, um, I would say, uh, um, uh, um, find a better place in the company. And we see that uh, based on an ICF study of 2016, um, coaching tend to increase retention by more than 60% in companies. Wow, that's yeah. a big number. It's a huge number. Um, so either the business come to us with a specific uh, issue. For instance, uh, um, here in Boston, there are also a lot of uh, uh, biotech companies mm -hmm. and, and many of uh, uh, junior and middle managers in biotech companies uh, uh, may lack uh, certain es essential managerial and soft skills simply because it was not part of their uh, uh, academic background mm -hmm. and professional experiences. And we help these companies actively build their leadership pipeline. Um, another interesting number from a, a study made by uh, Deloitte in 2017 um, almost 80% of HR and business leaders consider that they have an inadequate leadership pipeline. So helping uh, you know, these companies build their leaders, especially at the time where they see their baby boomers going to retirement, is also something essential for, for them. So we, we, we connect with them and um, either they have a specific business objective and so we suggest them specific training programs mm -hmm. uh, and then we walk back and forth with them to uh, make sure it's perfectly adapted to their expectations. And we also work with them so that they can find a pool of coaches within our network uh, uh, that uh, can offer the type of programs uh, uh, they are interested in. Once they have approved the pool of coaches and the programs, uh, we set up their, uh, uh, their, their, th the system, their dashboard, and they can start directly, add their employees to the dashboard, 
Um, and then it's very simple because uh, based on, um, I would say, um, the profile of the employee, if it's a junior or if it's a senior manager, uh, they can uh, give a certain number of credits to their employees. Uh, and the employees will be able to spend these credits pretty much the way they want within the selected uh, uh, pool of coaching programs that have been approved by the company. So kind of like ASAP dollars? It's kind of ASAP dollars and the, 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 the good uh, impact of uh, uh, this um, um, process, I would say, that uh, we offer the employee a self-directed learning experience because uh, he still or she still has the, the ability to choose with whom, when and how to learn and definitely engage with the coaching program uh, that will be adapted to their needs and, 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 and their lifestyle, um, which will also at the end of the day maximize engagement. So um, to sum it up briefly, we first uh, connect with the companies, identify their business objectives. Based, based on their business objective, we set up a pool of coaches and uh, um, specific uh, coaching programs. Mm -hmm. And once these have been approved by the companies, we start the matchmaking uh, with uh, the employees. Interesting. So as we come to the close of our show, is there one goal you have for next year? So let's say that you're going to come back, so I have everyone come back. Between now and the next 12 months, where would you like the company to be compared to where it is right now? Because I want to check in with you when we have you on the show again. Sure, absolutely. Well, right now, we are acquiring more and more uh, uh, business clients. So definitely until December 2017, uh, our objective is to become one of the leaders uh, uh, in the greater Boston area in uh, uh, tenant management solutions, providing to businesses, uh, effective employee development solutions, and, and, and be identified as, the, as an essential player in this field. Then, uh, our objective for spring 2018 is to start developing a pool of coaches in New York um, so that we can go after this market in 2018. So right now, continue to improve our B2B value proposition, continue to develop our portfolio of customers, and uh, um, once we uh, reach this goal, definitely starting uh, uh, the geographical expansion of, uh, of the business. Excellent. So we will check in with you this time next year, and we'll see how the goal is doing. All right. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you for being on the show. And take care, everyone, until we see you next time. Take care.